Welcome back everyone to Nanalisa Dawn. I remain your host Dominic or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we are back in the last game for today, which is going to be Mesper up against Fine. Rover Mirror on Cobalt Dream? That... That's new. Okay. I... Uh, last time I saw this map, it was just Tank City all day. So, that is... a thing. That is a thing that is happening. This could be interesting. It's kind of getting sick of this map because I was kind of getting sick of Tank Mirror all day, but yeah, this is... Okay, so, starting out... Kind of typical start. Masper going for a bit more aggressive of a push. Though the dart is kind of out of position from the Scorcher if they want to work together. Uh, dart might want to retreat. Nope. Nope. Masper's going for it. Not even able to get a single shot off with the dart. Kind of playing out of position? Maybe? Well, still, yeah, it does actually push the Scorcher out of position. The commander is still there, though, so it doesn't do much good. Worth noting that slowing mechs does actually reduce their output. So even just tagging a mech with a dart is actually worth it. Like, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but it does reduce your opponent's economy a little bit. And if you tag a bunch of mechs, each one gets halved output for a brief period. It's actually a really cool little mechanic. I'm a little surprised Masper didn't go for it. I guess they were just scared because they were getting shot at. I mean, it's it's generally hard to do stuff when someone is shooting at you. It's just it's just a fact of life. I mean, I thankfully have never been shot at, but I imagine if I were, I would struggle to do whatever it was I was actively trying to do. So I can't exactly blame Masper. Or Masper's dart. Or what's left of Masper's dart. Masper at this point, though, kind of being a bit slower on this than Fine Step. Or Fine, actually. So, still, Fine. Yeah, they're, they are expanding a lot faster. Masper seemed to be a bit more focused on getting that raiding going, and it didn't really amount to much. Attention, what are you doing? So, Fine already got their... Ah, that's why. That's why. Taking advantage of the... Wind way more than Masper is. It's going ham on that. Masper not even able to defend especially well. Scorchers are going to be pushed back, but still, that's a lot of damage done. Fine, finally losing a, a metal extractor. Masper takes that out. Still just the one, though, and it's not looking promising for the future. Actually, fine. Are they doing the same thing that Gorda typically does? Like, go down the center and then defend up from there? Like, usually it's like. Cut down here, defend along here, and then just push hard through that center lane that you've basically made for yourself. Kind of looks like it. Actually, it really does. It looks like it a lot, to be honest. Masper still managing to defend reasonably well, but they are falling behind. I mean, fine, they have Mason over the top, Mason over the bottom. Masper, on the other hand... Only has the one mason and their commander. Looks like the first mason. No, that's not the first mason. Where is the first mason? Doesn't look like it got killed. It just sort of... Unless it went all the way back down here. Because this mason was coming out... I think it came straight out of the factory. So it's not... Not the mason that was building up top. Oof. Masper now having to deal with loads of Scorchers coming down from Vine's base. Two go down before dealing in damage. But beyond that, that Lotus is done. The remaining are too damaged to even bother going for the commander shot, though. It's understandable. Same time, Masper coming in to deal some damage, but finding nothing. A little late for single Scorcher Dark combo to really do anything meaningful in this game. And Masper might want another Caretaker, too. I mean, I get kind of what they're thinking is, you know, 20 metal in the factory and then 5 to 10 being built around the map as you go, but your storage builds up quick. Like, with this much, it's like you got 90 seconds or so before it gets fully filled up and give what Masper currently has. It's really more like 20 seconds. Not really burning metal in the process. Not to mention a lot of that is being spent on metal extractors, which is increasing the amount of 
metal that's being produced, and so naturally is increasing how much Master has to worry about storage. So yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Granted, the Lotus is coming in are fine, but yeah, this is exactly what Fine's... I mentioned, as I mentioned before, that's what Fine's doing. Kind of setting up a fire base for it. Not quite a full line. That's the one thing they aren't doing, but it may not matter with Master's Commander going down. That opens everything up. Fine can easily start going through here. There is no real threat. The Scorchers are coming around the front from Masper. Should be able to take out a Lotus. Might, maybe we'll take out some Metal Extractors, but they're not lasting long enough to do much. Oh yeah, Metal Extractors are going to go down. Mason's Aura to the bigger target. But only one Scorcher remains to do that. Dart coming in to take it out. And from the other side, Masper Scorchers are forced back. So no dead Masons for fine. Masper and able to get in fine defending beautifully. Though I will say, I feel like Masper could have just prioritized the Masons. Like, it was a matter of priori priority and timing. Like, take the Masons out first. That reduces a lot of the ability for your opponent to build, or for reclaim for that matter, which fine can easily do. We got that 15 build power up here. Five bit on reclaim. It could be up all 15 if they really wanted to. No, the current energy values, of course, but still. This is the sort of thing that you can do when you have masons that are not dead. So I always say prioritize the constructors because they do a lot of work. And now with that, mass for at least switching defensers for some extra defense. Fine as well for similar reasons, though. Double checking. Mass for what are they going for? I mean, they're going for obviously getting stuff in their base, kind of. Only 20 metal per second for construction, though. A lot of excess. Well, fine instead... Mass Scorcher with some Raptor support. Actually, Scorcher... Scorcher Fencer Ripper with Raptor support. But yeah, relying entirely on plates. The so Masper right now, I am... I'm expecting they're going to be trying to... What are they going to try to go for? I mean, Rover in general just does work well with plates. I'm not really sure there's a whole lot that you build a single, like, 40 metal per second in it factory for rovers specifically. I mean, I... I don't know, I guess if you're trying to make a bunch of impalers or dummies? I guess if you're doing Mass Ravager. Mass Ravager would make sense to have a single factory. With caretakers. So I guess that's what Mass is going to be going for, but so far they're just going for a lot of Scorchers. Granted, given their current energy situation, I can't say I blame them. They're not losing a lot of time the way they're playing this. They are, however, losing a lot of opportunity by not building energy structures in the process. In the meantime, continuing to build up metal, not realizing they're energy stalling, and now metal stalling. And fine, continuing to push in, take out more of the metal economy. Almost doing them a favor for how much, ex for how much excess they're having. That is, how much excess Masper is having. So, Masper, why... Ah, there we go. Now they're building energy. Now they have that. I mean, that's... Okay, not why. It's it's easy to forget to build energy. Something you need to bear in mind, but it is a thing with this game. It moderates how quickly you can get your economy going. Oof. As does having Masons, which... Fine doing what Masper didn't, and targeting the Masons directly. Slowing down all of Masper's expansion and rebuilding attempts, which... That's exactly what you gotta do. Same time, all oh, the... Why, Fencers, are you not on fight move? I don't know if Masper remembered that Fencers should be on fight move, but Fencers should really be on fight move. Fencers stop to fire when they're on fight move. They do not stop to fire when they're on normal move. It's like the one unit in the game that... Or, that in bulkheads now, that work like that. But, yeah, you they don't fire on the move, so you gotta use fight moves so they actually smartly stop to fire. Or attack move, rather. Well, I've been playing this forever. <laughs> it's like... It's attack move. In my case, it happens to be on F, despite my earlier wanting it to be on A. It's for different reasons, though. I just have a weird hockey setup. Anyway, back to the game. Back to Master getting totally ripped apart. Yeah, that's what I was talking about my hockey setup, because Master's just kind of getting bodied here. Not really sure what there is to say. Fine continuing to build up more defensive lines up front. The point that I gotta not show them, because it's getting too distracting. And... Masper 
sort of able to push back, but looking at the numbers, fine is ahead, 30, 1,300 medal on attrition. And looking at the army value is ahead by 700 medal or so. A lot of metal is going into defense for them. But even then, it's still... Masper is just not having it. They are struggling. Hard. Not entirely sure what they could do at this point, because... They have... They have metal. Like, they're not behind when it comes to economy. So the main issue is just survivability. Honestly, I do think... Ripper Ravager would be the way to go. Like, they have a single factory that would work pretty well for Ripper Ravager, because they're, you know, reasonably expensive. Like, six seconds per Ripper or Ravager. Not losing a lot on coming off the plate. So, yeah. Mass Ripper Ravager would get rid of a lot of these Scorchers. Help for defense. Mass doesn't have as much of a territory to defend, so mobility isn't as big of a concern. Just make sure you have radar, which Mass well, did. But, yeah, once you do that, then... Actually, they still do. They just have less of it. But yeah, once you do that, then you can just push in and take out all the Scorchers. But then again, it looks like Masper's Mass Scorcher approach is also working. But yeah, fine. On the other hand... Well, they're... They're really showing how it's done with Mass... Or in theory, at least. Maybe not. Finds Commander under heavy fire. Mass Scorcher didn't actually work out for Masper. Surprisingly enough... I mean, granted, Fine is going for a mix of units, while Masper is going full-on Scorcher. Like, nothing but Scorcher. So, Fine swapped over one or two of these to Ripper Production. And maybe this one to Ripper Production. Then, they would be able to push back against this. Even without that, Scorcher dying to the Commander kill is still enough that Fine can just push back with the army they already have. Like, they do have more staying power. They have Rippers as well already. But they have the Ravagers, the extra HP. They have Scorchers of their own for, you know, extra damage, just in case. If, if case, Masper decides to build up some Ravagers. Or just for the extra damage. For the extra deeps. But with... Yeah, Ripper. I would say that is the one to do. Because that does get rid of the Scorchers, and that's entirely what Fine is building right now. Is this hilly, or is it just that... No, it's perfectly flat. It's just a weird pathfinding quirk. Just noticing the fact that these Scorchers are not going in a straight line. They're kind of straight, turn, straight, turn, straight, turn. Maybe it's just a rally point pathfinding quirk. Otherwise, units seem to go in straight lines as a rule, but yeah. Rally points are weird, I guess. Anyway, that aside, Ravagers, not really the best choice against Scorchers. And this is probably why Masper is massing Scorchers, because there are a lot of Ravagers on the other side, and Scorchers do take them out pretty easily. Which is why I say Ripper Ravager. Built some Rippers with that. Or Impalers, I guess? That, that's not really the way I would go with it, but sure, why not? I guess. Oof. Okay, apparently Masper is common. I mean, we actually saw kind of last game Masper was doing some pushing with Scorchers. They do like Scorchers a lot. It's That is clear. That is very clear, but it's also kind of transparent. We're not really getting a switch over to Ripper Ravager. Ravagers, yes, but no Rippers to support them. Like, there's still a few that have been built, but... Yeah, I don't know. Clearly not the priority. How many Rippers are there? There's exactly one. That is it. That is the one Ripper that exists. For reference, I personally think that two or three Rippers is needed to take out any reasonable mass of Scorchers. Any less than that, and you just don't take out the mass of Scorchers. Ooh. Someone built a Faraday. 
Someone lost a Faraday, but they built a Faraday, which is pretty interesting. Actually, it used to be common. I'm surprised you're not seeing more of them in this game. Like, that's... Not something that was coming up all, for a long time as, like, the... A defense to have alongside... Like, you have a couple Lotuses and a Faraday, and it's just... Massively reduces the amount of units that can come in. So I'm honestly surprised we aren't seeing more of that from Masper. But, or from Fine, for that matter. But we're not. Yeah, it's bizarre. But so it goes. Still, though, Thunderbird coming around the side for Masper. Oh, both players having swapped into air. Thunderbird for Masper. Fine. Planning to go for Ravens, but building that air factory a little bit slower. Uh, Thunderbird really opening things up. Ripper still undamaged, or unstunned, though. Still armed. Still dangerous. Still wiping out all the Scorchers. And now all the Masons, too. Because why not? Big, massive Masons. Just take them all out. Out of five Masons, two remain. Thunderbird, however, coming in here. Oh, Disarming out the air factory as well. Not that's the biggest deal, but still, it's not really the best option. Still, down production. Oh, I see. Disarmed the caretaker is the bigger problem, yeah. Still, though, the Scorch is able to do their job. The Ravager is unable to do much. They got the storage, nothing else, but still, not a lot of damage. That's a lot of reclaim going over to Masper. I'll find, however, going on the other side, taking a bunch of stuff out. And the Ravens are under construction. Huzzah! Fine has Raven. Wait. These Ravagers are still alive? Oh, wow. Just behind a wall of corpses, the last couple Ravagers still stay alive. Provided they can get, you know, clear shots on the targets, but yeah. Those Ravagers remain very much alive. Well, how about that? Actually working out remarkably well. Okay, well, for the one that decides to stay behind cover, but still. Take out a Caretaker or two. Take out some of the Scorchers. Ah, okay, there's one last Scorcher coming in. Still, though, a thorn in Masper's side nonetheless. Of course, the real story is that that fine has taken all the map. That is a thing that happens and happened again and will happen soon again in the future. Because, again, fine is way ahead. Like, there's... Masper isn't doing a bad job, in th but it's not good enough. Like, they're, they're taking things out, they're defending, but they're losing territory as they go. And fine is all the reclaim to they could ever ask for. I mean... Really, what's better than that? They have reclaim. They're a little low in the energy. I'm surprised they haven't built a fusion plant at this point. I'm genuinely surprised they have not built a fusion plant. They're building a Geo, though, so that, that also works. I was a little surprised I hadn't, hadn't built that prior, but... It is under construction, slowly but surely, getting up. I mean, it's not the most desperate, but it does limit the amount of reclaiming they can usefully use. Uh, it's not really limiting it to the point that it's going to cause them problems. Still, looks like we're going to be waiting on all six of these ravens to be built up. Probably after that will be a factory bomb. And I imagine Masper would throw in the towel following a factory bombing. I mean, they're certainly rebuilding pretty well. And with the reclaim, they're starting to even out in terms of economy, but... Again, many thousands of metal. Units of metal? I think it's just of metal. That's difference. I mean, the thing is, the army's cost value wise is a threefold difference between, like, Fine over Masper. Granite Thunderbird still able to do some work here. Getting rid of one of the rippers, the other ripper as well. Disarming that, allowing the Scorchers to come in and take their revenge. Or try to, because there's further rippers in the back. Fine has fully switched to Ripper Ravager. Or at least to. Uh, oh no, they have fully switched to Ripper Ravager, or just pure Ripper, pretty much. All right, well, some okay, Ripper Ravager with some Badger support. That's the full army composition, and I approve. That is the army composition. I was like, I was looking to see, and that is what is there. 
Yeah, the Scorchers are doing their thing. Okay, now the Scorcher Pathfinding is straight? I don't know what's going on with this. Anyway. Mono Ripper. Kind of makes sense. Thunderbird comes in, stun disarms a few of them, but the remaining Rippers are still around. The Scorchers cannot do much. They take out maybe a few Scorchers of their own, and that's it. The sheer amount of Thunderbirds you need in order to open this up is really just more than Master can bring to bear. So even with that, again, that one last Ripper is doing so much work holding everything else off, and then, you know, the Disarm wears off, and, well, the remaining rip Rippers just, they're back in business, taking out more Scorchers. Putting fine farther and farther ahead, and there's the Ravens. There's the bombing run. It is... It is on. Ah, and Masper doesn't even let it happen. Throws in the towel before the bombs can drop. I mean, it still dropped, because again, it was going to be a factory bombing. That was the idea. But that is it. That is... That is that bombing run, and that is that game, and that is it for tonight, where... We saw just how much Masper loves Scorchers. Absolutely favorite unit. It's not in there, though. I guess it wouldn't be. It's not a metal. Well, anyway, that's that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. That's going to be it for me tonight. Apologies for the break in the earlier game, but apparently Discord causes some weird performance issues from time to time. So, yeah, that's a thing that happened. Oh, well, anyway. So yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm not going to put that game up, so it was kind of a boring game anyway. So I'm just going to have these two games, and that's going to be it. So yeah, we have a sparse week next week for people watching, or this last week, because this will be the last video. So if you're watching this, you've probably watched the previous ones. But yeah, this is... Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a good night, everyone.